dun dun Sully, Eric O'Sullivan, ordained on the internet. Uh, this is my unboxing video of my Eagle Moss Space 1999 Eagle. Oh, and here it comes. I'm going to un... <gasps> Hello, you beauty. Oh, let's just take a moment. We're taking a moment. We're taking a moment to behold... Commander Koenig, you cannot fly this eagle. Every time Commander Koenig flies an eagle, he, he usually trashes it. Yes, only Alan can fly my eagle. <laughs> Check it out. This is a die cast uh, licensed oh, boosters. This is an eagle. Uh, it's the spaceship from Space 1999. Um, oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. Um, just to let you know, Space 1999 was a, uh, was a British show on ITV. It started uh, in 1975 and it lasted two seasons. And uh, it was in heavy rotation here in Boston on uh, the UHF station uh, WLVI Channel 56. And where and on Sundays and well, Saturdays as well, but usually Sundays, you would get Space 1999 in the in the early afternoon, um, usually after the, the the movie of the week. And um, this was a huge impact on me growing up. Before there was Star Wars, there was Star Trek, and there was Space 1999. For this lad growing up, I was three, four years old, a foot away from the television. Eric, get away from the television. You'll go blind. Funny how a foot away from the television uh, and blindness um, you know, went to other things manually, huh? Ha ha ha. That's a joke. But uh, as you can see, the Rub Observatory has the eagle proudly displayed on the T-shirt. Um, yeah, it only had two seasons. It was, um, wow, it was, a, it was a pretty decent TV show. Um, there was a huge change in between seasons one and two. Um, and I found out later on that that was because they had changed what we refer to today as a showrunner. The showrunner had changed and they went into a different direction. But, um, yeah, I mean, let's just look at this. Behold, this is a sh uh, th this craft looks like it could exist, and oh, see, yeah, the eagle, <laughs> yeah, huh? I had a toy of this as a child. It was giant, and it was metal, and you could take the boosters off the back and attach it to the the the, the pilot capsule in the front, and make a and I made a tiny uh, mini eagle. Um, it came with an orange pilot because the, as you can see, that the spacesuits there were an orange, which was a um, a weird kind of precursor to the American spacesuits. After the Challenger tragedy, um, the 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 spacesuits went from, or, or the you know, the uh, the the suits you wore up going up, uh, the flight suits rather flight suits. Um, were changed from blue to orange for a particularly practical reason that after the Challenger blew up, um, it was easier to 
discern body parts, I guess, or people's remains if they were wearing orange instead of the same color as the sea. But uh, I digress. I had, yeah, a few Space 1999 toys as a, as, as a young lad. And one of them was this giant eagle. It had a working wench in the center of it. And, um, and I had it for years. And I also remember having a squirt gun that was in the shape of the um, the laser gun that was used on this show. It was a it looked like almost like a staple gun, and um, yeah, I basically only had two Space nineteen ninety nine toys. There weren't many, um, but yeah, this is an Eagle Moss, and this is my unboxing of an old friend who's come to stay with me, and I am just pleased as punch. Um, to, to, to have got this, uh, Eagle Moss, uh, this Eagle Moss makes very quality reproductions of, of, of licensed spaceships. And, um, yeah, look at that. <laughs> and, um, yeah, this is perhaps my 15th Eagle Moss. Um, oh, don't crash. Ooh. Um, I have uh, about 13, no, no, let's see, let's count. Uh, there's two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. I'll, I'll have 11 Star Trek Eagle Moss. See? And um, I also have four Battlestar Galactica Eagle Moss, and this will be my 16th Eagle Moss. And um, I just, they make me happy. Robert Meyer Burnett of the Observatory turned me on to the Eagle Moss. I did not know that they existed um, before checking out his show. And, um, and now my life is better because I have grown up versions of toys. And uh, yeah, you can just see how this show is visually has been... Uh, it kind of takes its cue from uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey, in my humble opinion. And with the Eagle Moss book in the Moon Base Alpha Patch, is, um, it'll, it has a history of the design by Jerry Anderson, who uh, did all these uh, amazing uh, stop motion shows of, of, of the late 60s and early 70s. And um, yes, I'm one happy, happy, happy geek today to have this in my collection so thank you very much for tuning in to this my unboxing of the space 1999 eagle uh hey give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of content give me a thumbs down if you didn't if you hate sci-fi or something or hate adults and their toys um you know leave a comment in the comment section if you could be so kind and uh give me a subscribe if you can if um i'm i make positive content about pop culture i also go on the occasional rant and um i make uh spirituality videos and theology i'm an ordained minister i'm also an or uh, i'm also a professional chef so i share my cooking hacks with you to elevate your home game so you can impress your loved ones your friends and family with delicious nutritious and beautiful cuisine that you can able that you're able to make it a home yourself so uh, give me a subscribe. Check into Reverend Sully's channel, and uh, I'll be happy to, uh, to help you out and to uh, contribute to your day with some daily uh, YouTube content. This has been Eric O'Sullivan, Reverend Sully, signing off. Thank you so much. God bless. And uh, let's not put nuclear waste on the moon, huh? <laughs> Bad idea. Cheers. Have a great day.